Hey, welcome back. Looks like we're one man short. Which Flavia just crazy. <laughs> That's right! Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Please, just stutter more. Please, I can't... I can't handle it. What lunacy bursts forth from your mouth. The Admiral lives. What fortitude. Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Uh huh. Hmm? What is that you say? Chocola Cola. Well, why would I have that? But uh, yes, by the way, Flavio was merely curious. What do you need for? But now, the Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it at his last wish. Ah, so what we're dealing with is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found him in the beach, but there's no cause. I yield. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my, er, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not pledge. Hmm, yes. I'm sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. Make it good. I am the editor of Foppish Gourmet Weekly, so I know my delicacies. Give me the goddamn coconut. Oh, ha! A coconut, is it not? Well, this is island fare, but somewhat cliched. Ah, well, perhaps I set my hopes too high for a foraging non-gourmand such as yourself. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola and give my regards to the Admiral. If he dies, I mean, sucks, I guess. Tell him to waft the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and savor all of the fine fizziness. So, Chocola Cola is there's a huge part of um, the first Mario and Luigi game where you have to get Chocola Cola uh, from the Chocola Cola kind of like factory, I guess. So, again, a nice, another nice reference to that. God damn it, everyone's got fucking items. You know, I'm just gonna art attack them. I'm not even gonna deal with it, guys. I'm gonna kill them all. The the shitty thing about art attack is like it does tons and tons of damage, so it's great attack. Um, not a shitty attack at all, but like you get here, and it's just like, well, can it just can we just end it? Can, can it just be over now? But because it's it's based on a time limit type thing. And if you get to excellent, I think it just forcibly ends it. But you can do like 15 damage, so. Ain't no thing to shake a hoof at. <laughs> That's my uh, attempt at a southern phrase, I guess. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, see, like this I can handle. This is just one, one of these guys. And, uh... One of these gays, and I can I can totally kill him. But I have a feeling that this last uh, fucking green fuzzy is gonna summon a friend. Oh, he didn't. God fucking damn it. We're gonna get our. You know what? I'm gonna let Yoshi Gonzi Jr. He's gonna get his, his goddamn vengeance. Doing doing doing. And we did it with style, my friends. With style. You can see I'm getting just a ton of star points. Star power or whatever. Uh, every time I do like a successful double style. Which is like pretty much every jump attack and every Yoshi attack and all that jazz. So. I'm going to switch to Vivian real quick. God damn it. We're going to try and super guard this. Oh, well, I got lucky, so... FP will briefly recover. I do like that you have to hit both jumps on that. You have to to do the max damage. Um, unlike uh, like the regular jump attack, where you only have to hit the set, you only have to hit A when you come down for the second jump if you want to get the stylish command. That's how I actually initially discovered the stylish stuff. Like, like I've, I've been telling you guys, that, that pretty lucky business, super clutch. And you can see, I've, I've got a... Uh, what, what what do I have? I, I have, like, my fee P, My fee P, My FP up to... I had it up to max, and now it's back up to max. Again, uh, it's just super handy 
They have the lucky start, the pretty lucky, you know, lucky start especially is really good. I'm super glad we, we found that. And if you, I, f I was looking through, so when we were doing the thousand year, or not thousand year, pit of a hundred trial stuff, I was looking through ahead to see like what the items were, just to make sure I was going to get the item at level 50, because I didn't want to risk it if it was at like level 60 or something. Um, and I looked ahead and there is the, the like lucky lucky or whatever, whatever it's called, like very lucky or something that lets you, uh, basically it's, it like doubles or triples the, the lucky chance of pretty lucky. So pretty lucky is set up so it's like sometimes enemies miss and you get lucky, um, which is, it's cool because like most RPGs, especially JRPGs, there's like this chance of missing, you know, like, um, for example, if you ever played a Final Fantasy game, like, sometimes you'll just miss fighting that goddamn Tomberry, and sometimes you gotta, you gotta hit him, because he's getting close, and if he gets close enough to you, it's an automatic KO, and sometimes you're gonna, gonna miss, and it's gonna be fucking bullshit. So by adding that mechanic, like, back into this game, uh, you know, there's just like this chance that sometimes you'll miss. Or sometimes enemies will miss. And fucking sometimes things will fall from the ceiling and you'll miss. You'll get dizzy and you'll miss. So, whatever, man. It's fair as fair. <laughs> oh, that's a distinctive bouquet. You, you've brought it. <sighs> it's glorious flavor. To avoid awakening some mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me as one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting one last wish. Now I should be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Huh? 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 What? what? Yummy, yummy! Pirates! Where are those pirates? Huh? That fucking Bobbery is a drunk. That's what we're getting at. He wanted a drink. And that was it. Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario boys, you... You have adventures in the afterlife as well, Capital. Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase. Ah, hmm, yes, well, really. It's a tropical paradise for fallen sailors. This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Oh, all right. Oh, right. Now, Uncle Mario, boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? Bobbery, join your party. Let's get a primer on his abilities, if I may. Bobbery's abilities. A primer. Oh, thank you. This is exactly what I wanted. Basically, you, you tap X and you, you throw them, you toss them. Like you're fucking ca caber tossing. And, uh... He explodes. So, the nice little twist with uh, Bobbery is so... Bobette. Bobette was, um... The bomb in the previous game. So when you use Bobbery... You actually like, toss him, so you can actually throw him onto like platforms above you, and he'll like go forward a little bit, and then bomb. And if you hit X again, he'll just bomb whenever you hit X again. So you can explode him kind of on will. Um, it's pretty sweet. Uh, he's and he's so powerful in combat. He, so he starts with 20 health as is. So when he's fully upgraded, he actually has 40 health. He's the only assistant uh, character that's. 40. Some of them have 35. I think uh, the 6 partner is the only one that gets 35. Um, and right now he does 3 damage, I believe. So when he's fully leveled up, he does um, eight. He does 5 damage. So that's a lot. This is. And he... This is also super easy to do. Oh, he does four damage. So when he's fully leveled up, he does six damage. Um, which is insane. That's as much as Mario does with his power hammer. And so he, he actually, on top of that, he does bonus damage to fire enemies, like the, the little ghost guys. Uh, and his attack always clears this fog that the stage sometimes pops out. So... Bobbery is the best ally in the game. Uh, hands down. 
just as far as like power and usefulness and versatility, uh, sure he can attack flying enemies, but it's him and Goombella. Those two are equally the best allies in the game. They both do the most damage. Uh, they, you know, they're the most versatile. Just like their their attacks are that useful. And Goombella's uh, third ability that she gets after Tattle and after uh, Multi Monk is a uh, Rally Wink, which lets Mario take another turn. So very very handy. So yeah. Bobbery, I love Bobbery. He's the fucking best. He's also got excellent lines and personality. So, now we have him, we can, when we get back to Rogueport, we can get the item that lets you upgrade your characters a second time. Ah, it is Bobbery. Welcome back to you. Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset. I must worry about everyone here. But who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard it is for me to sit here, and just here in safety and not worry so much? I do not know what it is there, waiting to lurch and snack upon me. We don't even know how to get home for the sake of the blue shiny sea. But no more yelling. Now is not the time now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Fabio, boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence. Grr, I growled you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to. I ought to. So in any case, Mario, about the crystal star you spoke of earlier. It was rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with the skull carved into it. Call an old sea mom's intuition, but a skull rock seems suspicious. Heh <laughs> heh. Hey, Wolverine, you ain't know it really smells suspicious? <laughs> oh, I mean Flavio's armpit. Oh, it smells like low time. <laughs> well, seriously. You may be onto something with a skull rock. I say it's where, where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious? I was already saying in my head the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And, as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting the camp by, from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I am sorry to make so many requests, but you know. Love you, you cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, yes. Uh, Admiral, you see, I... Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go... Alone, alone to investigate Skull Rock. Oh, heck yes. Yeah, take him, please. Off with you, you jerk. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square, eh? What? Fair and square, eh? What? A what? I love that. W O T. What? Um, no, not fair. Flavio hates you all. Flavio will join you for a short time. He has no abilities and he has no primer. Alright. Again, the this section is a little tedious because we have to go back and forth twice, but like after this, after we go this time, that's it. And also, it's like a really short walk. We go through two screens. This screen and the next one. Uh, so it's like, whatever. Like I, I'm not too bothered by it. Unlike where we had to go through four or five screens, I think it might have even been six if you include like inside the steeple, inside the creepy steeple. They're all long, full of enemies that were really hard. Uh, that could put you to sleep and stuff. Um, so it's just it's an enjoy it's a much more enjoyable experience, you know. You know, on top of that, I'm I'm getting at least some experience here. Uh, yeah, that was a close one. Uh -huh, they're all close ones with the super guard, but uh, I you know I'm I'm enjoying myself a bit more with this one, this chapter. Yay! Only two audience members need to join, but whatever. Now I have a full audience. My HP is full. Everything's looking good. Boop -a -doo. I hate it when that happens. It's just like, oh, well, let's just pour water on the crowd and get rid of a bunch of them. It sucks. Of course, I also hate when the fog comes up, because it it almost never helps you. And of course, I say that and I eat my own words. So we're actually gonna use Bobbery's attack first. And he's gonna, you can see the the background shaking there, so it's gonna loosen that background. Gonna fall. But now that the enemy has six health, I can use my a spin jump to finish this fucker off. Woo woo! 
Party like a rock. Party like a rock star. Um. Anyway. We're just gonna keep going ahead. We don't need to fight these guys anymore. We got 44 uh, star points. We're gonna get a lot more once we get to kind of like the dungeon-y esque area of this place. And you see this. I like how Flavio fucking rides in their back also. This, uh, this area isn't that long. There's not much to it. The dungeon part of this area, which I say dungeon, you know, this is kind of like a dungeon esque to most areas in this game. Like the creepy steeple, kind of very small. Um, but the Bogley Tree and the Hooktails Castle, Chapter 3 doesn't have one. So this one does. Um, chapter 4 doesn't really have one either. So, Chapter 6, I mean. Uh, but we'll do that next time on Alex Plays. How's that sound? I, I hope it sounds good because it's happening. <laughs>